Okay. All right. So, girls, we are going to do the closed door interview. Just a short brief. Mm -hmm. um, this interview is very different from last year. We will have a special closed door interview. All of you girls will stand here in straight line. They will ask you questions and answer them as fast, as precise as possible. So, Mama Teresa, Sir Nawat, and Isabella are inside. Now, if they're ready, we should open the door. And are you ready, girls? Let's start the closed door interview. Not yet? Not yet. <laughs> okay, and one more thing I want to tell you girls. Just be yourself. Yeah. Keep be smiling. Yourself. Mm -hmm. All right. Be yourself and everything should fall into place. We can't be anything else. Yeah. <laughs> I, I absolutely love your outfits, girls. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. And your aura gives a little bit of like, um, like outfit. All right, before we start, mm -hmm. so can you share us about your feeling right now? I feel so honored to have this amazing opportunity to show myself because I know all of you will, you see us in the catwalk, you see the best version of us possible, but here today I just want to show my heart and what I am made of. And I'm so happy that most of us from the Americas, we're dressed in white, you will see the other girls, so I really do think um, we're dressed for the pageant's philosophy, which is just stop the war and violence, our campaign. And this is what we are, the Americas. And how about you, Mr. Well, I am feeling right now so grateful, blessed, and happy to be here. I can't believe the moment has come because I dreamed with this moment since 2019. And it is here. And well, I'm so grateful to be part of such a prestigious platform that unite all of us girls in country so we can stand up for a, such a special and important cause as it is Stop the War and Violence. All right. All right. Thank you. I think the judges are ready. Yes. All Let's right. open the door in three, two, one. Open the door and broke up all the chairs. Yeah. Trust message. Please control your time. Okay. Uh, into you, anything touching our heart. Why well, have okay. to choose you? Okay. Start from Colombia. Okay. Why do you have to choose Colombia? Our first your crown. Your quality. Anything. Yes. Um, our first crown for Colombia. Hopefully, I think the Americas have had the opportunity to make this brand, this MGI, to expand it all over the world. It's very big in Asia, and I do think in Latin America, well, I have much support from many other countries. I'm well known in the pageantry world, so I do think that Miss Grand International needs Colombia to just do a great job, just as Isabel Manin has left us um, such a great legacy. So I will of course continue with that legacy. Okay, introduce yourself. Okay, introduce myself. So, hi everyone, also Sawadika and um, Bon dia Isabella. <laughs> Thank you for this opportunity. Um, hi to everyone that's also watching us. I am Miss Grand Colombia, Maria Lopez. I'm 28 years old, I'm an industrial engineer, um, which my career was very well focused on industrial, um, on humanitarian engineering and I've been working for many advocacies and I'm just a woman that has lived through so many experiences and I just think I have the maturity and the responsibility, the discipline, the compromise to take this title back home and it will be the first ground for Colombia so I'm very proud of that. Thank you. Next, Costa Rica. You? Costa Rica. Well, so the question was why Costa Rica? I have to say that Ms. Grant International means the job of my dreams and I really feel identified with what the organization stands up for, which is stopping the war and violence. Since I come from a country that has no army and which the most important things are education and peace. So I believe that also I have the four Bs because before they said three Bs, now it's four Bs body, beauty, brain, and business, and I really feel so prepared to, to support the organization, to give back, and to be that queen. And about myself, well, my name is Crystal Riz Freeman. I am 26 years old. I am a journalist and an audiovisual producer. I have, I worked like two, three years on one of the most important TV channels in Costa Rica. Also, I work at the Legislative Assembly of Costa Rica as a communicator. This is the, uh, one of the government's institutions. And right now I am working with a social organization about mental health, so I support them, giving the child and adolescents the importance of taking care of the environment. Because I believe that uh, 
when we do positive actions, we also help our, our minds so they can uh, be occupied doing positive things. Uh, I've been waiting this moment since 2019 to be here as a dream for me, and now I'm so ready to, to work with you. Okay, thank you. Bye. <laughs> okay, good morning to you all, and good morning to everybody watching. My name is Ruby Pouchet, and I am, of course, from Bonaire. <laughs> I was born in Bonaire, but um, I moved around quite often as a child. Um, this was, at the time, a bit of uh, moments of uncertainty and instability, but from it, I grew so much. From it now, I, I speak four languages, and I'm able to connect with so many cultures and backgrounds, no matter where they're from, their ethnicity, their gender, um, and that's something that I value, that I learned from this, from, from moving so much. Also, I graduated from the University of Houston um, back in 2019. Mm -hmm. I have a bachelor's degree in communications and a minor in psychology. I, after graduating, I moved back to Bonaire <laughs> after moving so much. And I pursued a career in nature conservation. So I work for a nonprofit nature <coughs> organization as a communications advisor. And what I do there is, it's really beautiful the work that we do because what we do is protect the nature and the natural resources of Bonaire, the flora, the fauna. We're a very small island, but we're very united and we're very, um, we take care of what is ours. And Bonaire, Sinapa Bonaire, which is the organization I work, work for, um, helps us per preserve these natural resources that we of course we'll need for the future generations. And that's a little bit of what I do um, for my work. And why me? Well, as I said, I can connect with so many people worldwide. And I have this thing about me that everything I do, I do with big passion and a lot of, a lot of love. I love to transmit positive energy to anybody that I meet because I believe that you never know what somebody is going through. You never know what somebody is going through at the moment or what they have been going through. And it doesn't matter who they are, you should treat everybody with the same respect, the same kindness, and the same values. Thanks. And that's what I stand for, and that's why I think I could be such a valuable asset. Also, I am very creative, and um, I, I, because I studied psychology and marketing, I can mix those two things together and bring beautiful campaigns and ideas into this amazing organization. Okay, okay. next, Chile. Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Mama Teresa, Hello. Mr. Morat, yeah. Isabella. Okay. I hope you can help me with uh, little words. Okay, <laughs> okay. Uh, My name <coughs> is Paula Enriquez. I represent in Chile. I have so uh, 28 uh, years old. I live in different countries in my life uh, and language. Um, an actress, international model. I have my company, and I am Miss Chile. The last one is my favorite. It's my heart is very fast uh, with this. I heard uh, I work a lot uh, for this uh, contest. I love this contest because it's like me is in in little time have really 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 good. Um, it's the best. It's the best contest in the world for me. For me, Thank you so much. It's, it's the number one in eleven years. I we don't need a lot of time for good results. Resu resultados mm -hmm. for good right. results. And I hope can see me a uh, empowering woman. Okay. I love my independence. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank next, you. please. Hello everyone, I'm Miss Grand Canada Yulia Sherban. I was originally born in Ukraine, but I moved to Canada when I was seven years old, six years old, and I always focused on my education. So I graduated high school at the top of my class. I received the Governor General's Academic Medal, and last year I graduated from the University of Toronto with a degree in finance and economics. I also have a very artistic and creative side to myself. I'm a former competitive figure skater, so I love to perform, I love having a stage, an audience, I love sharing my energy. So I'm glad um, that Miss Grand International really allows me to 
uh, share that part of myself on stage with the people. That's why I love Miss Grand so much, is because they really focus on the show and sharing that energy with the audience. So why me? Well, I know Miss Grand is looking for a performer, and I don't sing. I know they added a singing competition this year, but I figure skate, and I think that would be a very unique talent to add to the organization. We could do like an ice show maybe. Um, also, I think growing up in Canada, uh, with a country with a lot of different people, it allowed me to grow up and study and work with many different people, which would be an asset as a Miss Grand International, because I would be working with a lot of different people. And lastly, I come from Canada, which isn't a powerhouse country when it comes to beauty pageants. But I know I have everything it takes to be the next Miss Grand International. And if I can bring Grand to Canada, I know that we can start a new and beautiful culture of beauty pageants in Canada. We have a lot of opportunity. We have beautiful, smart women. And it's a new opportunity that I think Miss Grand should definitely um, take on. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Brazil. Hi, good morning. I'm Adriana Yanka. I'm 27 years old. I'm from Rio de Janeiro, the land of samba. I'm a dentist, a medical student, and Can also um, samba. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and also um, a fruit and vegetable store. Um, I have worked for the seven years ambassador at NGO Instituto Meduca. Um, I know I now have my friends. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's I'm single. <laughs> I, and this way international is amazing and performance, energy, connect to people and thank you for the support. Thank you. Thank you. Bolivia. Yes. Hi. Uh, Miss Gran Bolivia. I am Victoria Alguin Paul. I'm 24 years old. Um, recently obtaining business administration degree. I love sport. It's biggest uh, my passion. This Miss Grand International. I want to speak Spanish. Okay. Um, me encanta el deporte. Ha sido. Pues, es okay. Okay. Um, me encanta el deporte. Ha sido una parte fundamental en mi vida, junto con los concursos de belleza que hace un año yo jamás me hubiera imaginado estar aquí y she, she one year ago she, she never thought she could be in a place like this and she loves sports and, and beauty patient mm -hmm. okay good eh, y es algo que quiero transmitir a las demás junto con el Miss Grand a que muchas personas eh, puedan luchar por sus sueños she wants to share with everyone that everyone needs to uh, fight for our dreams. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Argentina. Ah, microphone one. Okay. Hi everyone, I'm Natalia Cometo, Miss Grand Argentina. I'm 28 years, years old. I'm nutritionist. Um, I love helping people with the wellness and fitness. Um, I, I found my passion yeah. for beauty patients this year. And I think it's a great opportunity to grow as a person, as a woman. It was a huge challenge for me and helped me to improve in many aspects. And I would love to work with Miss Grand International to keep working together, to keep spreading the message to the world. Um, it has been always my dream to be here. And I'm super happy and thankful for this opportunity. Thank you. Thank okay. you so much. Uh, anyone Thank you. has a contract? You know, in a previous uh, time, you have any contracts with other Agencies. companies? Agencies? Oh. No. No. Okay. And I think I have a question. Why are you here? Why do <laughs> you want to be a beauty queen? What touches your heart to be here? What do you want to get from this experience? Oh, microphone. Okay, start from Colombia. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay, so... As many of you know, I've been in pageantry for many years, but I stopped, um, I'm gonna get emotional with this question. I stopped the last year because I lost my father and um, MGI brought me back to life. MGI is giving me the strength to inspire other women. Many people in the world lost um, family members or something that they loved. It could be a person or it could be material things after COVID, after pandemics, and we're going now through so many wars. And I just think that 
I'm an example for um, humanity that you can get over things. You can still enjoy life. And I did the last beauty pageant while my dad was dying. He was at the ICU. He watched the coronation night in the hospital. And he was so proud of me. He said always before he died that I thank God that I didn't win that pageant because now I'm here and this is a pageant for me. Mm -hmm. And um, I lost it and I felt defeated also. Um, because I couldn't believe that I was doing that while my dad was dying and I still didn't win and I showed I had the discipline and the compromise and the responsibility. But then I was so grateful that I didn't win because I got to spend the last two months with him. And um, MGI brought me back to life. I thought I had closed this chapter in my life and I just really feel now very proud of myself that I'm coming back and that I'm believing in my dreams because I've dreamed about this for many years ago. My mother was um, a beauty queen. She's the one that inspired me, so I do hope to continue this legacy in my family, in the world, and Colombia is shining now in the world and I want to re represent very well my country. So that's the reason I'm here. I'm just enjoying this because I've sacrificed a lot of things in my life, but now I just want to do it with joy because what you do with joy gives joy to humanity, to the world, and that's what I think the world needs. So thank okay. you. Thank Hasta you. Later. Why am I here? Because it is the one and only. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good enough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, go to the point. It's the one and only, and well, I have to say that in 2019, I competed to become Miss Grand Costa Rica, 2020. I didn't get the chance, you know, and I felt so like depressed and bad because, well, I was like, well, maybe it's not for me. But now I understand that it was not that moment. It was now. And now is where I, it's where I feel prepared. And I'm here and I said to myself, wow, I really needed to prepare myself to be here. And, you know, being here with the cameras, the show and everything makes me feel like home because as a journalist, I work with this and being here, it just makes me feel like calm, like home, happy. This is my, my thing. And yes, that's why I'm here and I want to contribute to the organization and also give Costa Rica uh, the first crown and the best crown of all of the beauty pageants. This is the best one. So yes, that's why I'm Thank here. You. Thank you. A little short. Shorter. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so why beauty pageants? For me, beauty pageants have, have always been in my family, like Colombia's mother. My mother was also a beauty queen. She's Venezuelan, so as you know, Venezuela is very big with beauty pageants. And she always wanted me to, but I never wanted to. I'm like, that is not for me. And I wasn't ready then. I'm ready now. Winning my, in my home country was one a huge achievement, but being here now is out of this world, just being here, experiencing this. And I think um, it gave me so much self-confidence and power and self-love, really. Putting myself in such a difficult situation and overcoming it. But more than that, I think inspiring other women from my home country or somebody who maybe it's not from such a big country, Bonaire. I think all of the girls here, when they met me, they're like, where is that? <laughs> are all the girls like you there? <laughs> and yes, they are. We're beautiful people from within and from out. But I think that was the, um, I think that would be my biggest thing, inspiring and opening the doors for my country or people who come from smaller towns, uh, unknown countries to really shine. Because if you believe in yourself and you're determined enough and you have the heart for it, anything is possible. Thanks. Um, I'm here because in, in one moment of my life I don't have nothing. And only with my mind. And I work hard for all in my life. And I know <laughs> maybe when the people see me, no, it's like this. But it's only me. It's in, in, in this world and my family. I protect my family all, all my life. I work for 12 years. <laughs> and I stay here because all women can, can be alone. Of course, don't, <laughs> don't want to be alone all the time. But in this place, I have beautiful girls, work hard, and, and amazing, amazing sisters. Um, this contest is like me. And I know I am a port. In, in this family, and I'm very disciplined, and the people know me, 
no, <laughs> no, this. Thank you. Thank okay, you. Canada. Yes, so I actually haven't been in beauty pageants for a long time. I joined my first one about a year and a half ago in Canada. And I joined just because I was interested in trying something new. I love to try different things, so I, I did it. And I'm really glad I did because uh, when I was younger, like I said, I was a figure skater. So I really loved to perform, but I always focused on my education. So I went to university and I kind of gave up on my dream of being a performer and doing ice shows. But competing in pageants kind of allows me to do that again. Like we were at rehearsals yesterday and I just loved like learning the dances, preparing for the show. It gave me a lot of excitement and I feel like I got that part of me back. And um, also uh, the last few months were a little difficult for my family because my mom was diagnosed with cancer for the second time. But I don't say that to feel sorry for myself or us. I feel like it gave us um, strength because now I know I'm strong to overcome it and preparing for Miss Grant at this time gave me like something to look forward to a goal and a dream and same for my mom because she's watching me here compete it's giving her strength and that would be like something I would say to everyone who's going through something difficult in their life is to have a dream or a goal because if you have something you look forward to it's going to help you overcome all the difficult moments in your life. So that's why I'm here today. Mm, thank, <laughs> thank you, Brazil. <clears throat> I come from a very humble background. My father's always been my most significant supporter. With I am leaving this dream today, owe it to him. Tragically, he died just two weeks before the national contest. Mm -hmm. Despite the horrible pain, I kept strong. I never considered giving up. Went on, he won the crown. In fact, just before he died, I discovered my father was not my biological father. In f so far, I don't know who my biological father is. Doesn't matter to me. He was the one I love me as a daughter. He was being my father. And many say a back to back is impossible. In my life, nothing is impossible. <laughs> I, I believe this in the crown. I, I'm strong, I never consider giving up, I determination, I woman power. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, okay. believe yourself. Bolivia. Mm. Yes. Bolivia. Okay. Shit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> poquito, poquito. <laughs> poquito. <laughs> Voy a ser corto. <laughs> eh, el Miss Gran para mí ha sido eh, de mucha ayuda de portar el nombre de mi país, yo era una persona muy tímida que tenía miedo a arriesgarse. For me it's a huge honor to represent my country. Before I, I was a, a person very shy that had that was ashamed to to show myself. Como lo mencioné hace rato, jamás me hubiera imaginado estar acá. Para mí ya me siento ganadora con todas las chicas que están aquí que son tan hermosas, están tan preparadas. Para mí este es mi primer año concursando en un eh, concurso internacional. This is my first year in a beauty pageant and I feel so grateful to, for this opportunity and for all of these beautiful girls with me. Y me siento muy orgullosa de traer acá de mi país su cultura que es tan diverso y tan hermoso. Thank you so much. Okay. And I feel so proud to show here my country and the, the diversity and the beauty of my country. Okay. okay. Um, Yes. <laughs> uh, so I come from a very small town, and everything I did, I did for myself. I did with hard working, determination, and discipline. And I would love to spread this message to younger generations, especially women, that everything is possible with hard work. And I love to be here. This is a amazing opportunity for me, and I'm very thankful. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. Anyone attached to anything like boyfriends and you know you cannot leave no home if you win the title? Okay. No, boyfriends, just raise your hand. No, no Let's problem. Be, no, no, it's no problem. Our, our yes. pageant is yes. normal. Normal. Beautiful a, woman, you can you can have boyfriend, but I, I actually have. I work full time at, at the nonprofit. Okay. May May I change my question? Okay. A, okay. A, anyone have girlfriend? Girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, you have. Okay, uh, yeah. yeah. You know, I, I, I have a couple in, in the pageant before. <laughs> yeah, many, yeah. I do. And I they're married they together. Got, they right? got married. Argentina, they got married. Argentina. 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 Yeah, Argentina yeah, and... Argentina and, and, and Costa Rica Costa or Rico. Puerto Rico something. Yeah. Puerto Rico, Puerto, Puerto Rico. Rico. Argentina and Puerto Rico. Yeah, they're married. Yeah, they're married. 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 They're You want it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Can you can you ask to marry Camila? Okay. Can you ask to your girlfriend to marry Camila? Okay. Yes. Oh, yeah. She needs to be here for sure. Okay. She's watching. Talk, talk to her direct. To her. Okay. Can you marry me something like that? I don't know. Paula. Okay. Listen. Okay. Um, she's speaking. Listen. She's, listen. She's, listen. She speaks Spanish. Okay. Uh, Paula okay. Susa. Quieres casarte conmigo? <laughs> Oh, for sure, she say yes. She's a, she's a big fan of you. She loves you so much. She's also a beauty patient. She's always telling me, oh, I want to see Isabella so much. She's a very big fan of you. Are you your girlfriend from Argentina? Brazil. Brazil. Oh, Brazil. Brazil. But, but, you, but you speak Spanish. Yeah. To Brazil? Yeah, yeah, and she also speaks Spanish, my Brazilian. Ah. It's very close. So, so she changed everything to you. She changed the language to you. Okay, I will, I will send you to the outfit. Yes, very supportive. And outfit. <laughs> you, you want like a clown? Yes, white one. White one, and what about her? Also. Oh, uh, a clown? Oh, clown. Clown, clown, clown. Very supportive. Anyone want to marry? <laughs> They asked me that question before I came here. The crown or the love of your life? And I was like, the crown, because the love of my life is myself. I'm sorry ah. about that. Okay, I will make sure with you, okay? I will do something. Okay. okay? <laughs> And the rest will keep your thing. Colombia, come to the room. Okay, come on. Not any special, okay? <laughs> Not any special. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm here. Oh, right. That was quite an introduction <laughs> from our ladies. Yes. Am I right? So. <laughs> Congratulations in advance. <laughs> They're going to pick you a wa beautiful white gown for you and your partner. Okay, we already <laughs> prepared for you. <laughs> yeah, we already prepared for you. And now, when she's coming suffering. here in Vietnam? 21. 21. Oh, at Ho Chi Minh. Mm, yeah, of course. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah, Ho Chi Minh. Ho Chi Minh. Tomorrow we go to Ho Chi Minh City. Yes. Yeah. So, how do you find a closer interview so far, girls? It was much better than I expected. I thought I will become nervous, but mm -hmm. uh, being here with my friends, it was like, yeah. were, I'm super relaxed. And it was very good. That's so great I'm to hear. I, I was nervous at the beginning, but it was very good. I'm you happy. shouldn't be nervous, girls, because I'm, I'm very look at them. This. Very light, yeah, very relaxed. relaxed. Yeah. How about you? Oh, I'm so happy to be here in interview. And my girls and sisters, grand sisters. And gostaria de agradecer também aos meus fãs que estão acompanhando ao vivo. Muito obrigada pelo apoio de vocês. Thank you so much for the support. I love you, Brazil. Not. Hi, Brazil. Hi. <laughs> Do you want to say anything to your fans, to your family, friends, all of you girls? Uh, sure. So, well, here and there in Canada, we don't have a very big pageant community, but the people that we do have have been supporting me every single day with messages and with comments. So I'm very thankful to everyone who has been showing me so much support. It really means a lot. And thank you also to my parents for supporting me in this dream, calling me every day, writing me messages even when I don't have time to respond. So thank you everyone for the support. Hello everyone, uh, I feel nervous, um, really fast, I feel like a pooch. <laughs> and, eh, para toda la gente chilena, bueno, no, no hablan tanto inglés y prefiero comunicarme con ustedes de esta manera, porque mi inglés tampoco es perfecto, muchas gracias por todo el apoyo, 
en serio nunca pensé que fuera así, los quiero mucho, eh, estamos luchando todos los días para ustedes, por darles una nueva alegría, los quiero mucho. Hello everybody watching, thank you for the support, I'm also going to speak in Papiamento for this part. Buen día, Boneiru. Me quiero llamar vos nan danki para tu apoyo, tu sostén como estás recibiendo el día nan aquí. Está llena mi corazón, anto. Me saco mi nota cuánto está turgiendo, me está hopi drug, pero me está apreciando el más, ya más hopi mes. Anto también, también a mi familia que me está viendo, muchas gracias por el apoyo. Los quiero demasiado, llenan mi corazón de alegría, de amor y los quiero demasiado y eso viene de mi corazón. Muchas gracias. Hello everyone in Costa Rica, all the people that have been supporting me. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much for believing in me, for leaving me such impressive messages that make me feel strong and made me, you know, to give it all. And when, now in Spanish, muchas gracias mi gente linda de Costa Rica, mi familia, la gente que cree en mí. Los amo con todo mi corazón. Que Dios los bendiga. Gracias por todo. Y vamos hasta el final a darlo todo. Y quiero que sepan que lo estamos disfrutando mucho. Love you all. Yes. Para mi gente boliviana, les mando un saludo enorme y agradecerles por todo el apoyo que me están brindando. Como les digo, jamás me hubiera imaginado recibir de tanto apoyo y los quiero mucho. Well, I, I believe that uh, my expectations were like over. Like I had some expectation and I had been having an amazing, incredible time. Um, MGI has really uh, like, you know, take me out from my comfort zone. And I love that, you know, and being here surrounded by cameras, all of my beautiful sisters, I've been having a fun time with all of them, feeling so grateful to be here. And yes, my expectations were, how do you say like over, like over, Beyond, yes, beyond. my expectations. <laughs> Same with me. This experience has been beyond, has beaten anything I could have dreamed of. Meeting all these different girls, meeting different cultures, but especially having the pageant here in Vietnam. Every single place that we go to. What you said? Uh, yeah. about the <laughs> but it's yes. I'm, I'm just saying that I am so grateful to be here and that being in Vietnam has been such a beautiful experience. Every single place that we've been to, every show, every restaurant, every person that I've encountered has been so beautiful and humble and I will value this experience for the rest of my life. <laughs> okay, may I change the last question? If you are the just, not you, who's going to be the winner? I would say, I would say India, my roommate, uh, th this is the one that I've met, I, there's a lot of beautiful women and a lot of talented women, but she's the one that I've uh, been able to connect with on a deeper level, and she holds the four B's, I think, she okay. has the four B's, she's ready. I love you all girls, I love all of the girls, they are so amazing. But I will choose USA because, you know, I admire her. I see part of me her, her discipline, determination. She's very focused. And every time I go to her, she's like has a smile on me. I ask her something. She's so polite. So that's why I will choose her. Okay, Chile. Colombia did already, but no one knows. <laughs> uh, okay. I think it's pain because I see she all mornings wake up on time <laughs> before me, disciplined. She has only 22 years old and she's so smart and focused all the time. And I know it's my roommate and the other option <laughs> is USA, it's me too, okay. for the same. Thank you. Um, well, everyone here is amazing, but I think I would also say USA just because I'm from Canada, Aww. she's close to me, Aww. and I think she also embodies what a queen should be, so, Thank yeah. You. Okay, next, Brazil. Mexico. Mexico. And she is a beautiful, strong, determination, focus, resilient. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Dominican Republic is we beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> okay, last. 
for me, there is no other queen like Colombia. Wow. She's, I'm her, I'm her roomie, but I see the, f the effort she puts, how much she study, how much she, she's super ready for this crown. And she's also super beautiful outside, but most important, inside. She's very generous, helping all the girls. And this is something so nice, because not, not everyone do this. And also, she's super, the way she speaks, the way she walks, the way she's with camera, she's perfect. OK. OK, you lady are amazing. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, Latin America has always come strong, you know, in, in, in Miss Grand. So I wish all of you best of luck. Thank you for. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, ladies. Close the door once again and make way for another set of beautiful ladies. Thank you so much, girls. One more question. Yeah, what? But I want to know her answer. <laughs> Are we allowed to ask Colombia? Because it was like a, like a private one. You know? Do you want to know? Yeah. I can you tell you. Know? Okay. I said Miss Hong Kong because um, I see in her how I was in my first pageants, how I was when I was 18, competing mm -hmm. against these very strong women. Mm -hmm. And she's come up to me and to some other girls, and we've helped her with her catwalk. And she's always asking, how should I say my name? How should I do this? Yeah, I so that. I seeing her these things, and I think MGI would change her life and make a, her just so such a strong woman. I would love to see her in a few years and see that reflected in her, how much she's grown and how much she's evolved well that's so sweet of you of choosing hong kong and yeah we all get that feeling of our first time joining a pageant yeah. and it could be really tough <laughs> and like her like her first pageant is an international pageant all right it's so thank hard. you very much all of thank you thank you girls well, and now we'll it's time to take a later. <laughs> Peach and will, will we see the ladies later during the grand voice award oh, yes. okay who's gonna sing who's gonna sing tonight, tonight? Oh, Chili from this batch. Keep so, watching in this evening. Thank make you. this group proud. Thank you. Thank you so much, All ladies. Right. Now you can rest, and we'll I'll see you later. Last.